Hello and welcome back, Panthers and Panther supporters. Welcome to our final video in the 2020-2021 PDHS Athletic Awards. Again, my name is Dan McDonald and I'm the Athletic Director at PDHS and the MC for this series. Before we start handing out our major awards, I wanted to thank several PDHS Athletic supporters for their massive and most of the, of the time behind the scenes work. First, Mr. Brunt and Mr. Ryan deserve a ton of credit for the work they do in our office. The amount they care for the success of our students is the benchmark, and because of their support, my job is easier. Secondly, our athletic program is indebted to the work of our PDHS Home and School and SAC. Because of their work, we were able to install a new school board uh, to our gymnasium wall, which will be enjoyed for years to come. Throughout the years, they have helped with fundraisers, purchased uniforms, equipment, and have been a constant group to support anything PDHS athletics. So again, thank you. Finally, although we have countless local businesses that support our athletic program, two in particular continually go above and beyond. Without the support of Steve Arkins and the Pug Rush Co-op allowing us to hold fundraisers and apply for snowball draws, our team registration fees could not be some of the lowest in the province. The second business is Tri-County Ford and Academy Gush. Our Athlete of the Month is a huge highlight for our student athletes, and Eric McKean and his team have sponsored that for the last four years. So again, Thank you, your support is very much appreciated. Good evening everyone, uh, my name is Sean Brunt, proud principal of Pugwash District High School. Uh, we have created this video uh, to honor students who chose to challenge themselves and prove themselves through sport and the coaches of these student athletes who make extracurricular athletics possible. This year has been an, another extremely successful year for us here at PDHS, despite COVID-19. My message is clear and simple. I am proud of you for your successes on the field and the courts, for your sportsmanship and character shown when you have won and lost. I am proud of you for your dedication and commitment to your teammates, your coaches, and our school, for taking the challenge presented to you at the beginning of the year to show improvement as student athletes. I appreciate and admire the individuals who make it all possible. Your coaches, parents, staff advisor, and of course, Mr. McDonald, all of whom have sacrificed time with their families and friends in the name of school sport, because they understand the character, intelligence, self-esteem, and motivation that is created as a result of sport. Most of all, I am proud of you for choosing to challenge yourself through sport. In conclusion, I thank all of you for maintaining the dignity, respect, and pride that makes us the PDHS Panthers. Congratulations to the winners. Well done. Now to our major awards for the 2020-2021 school year. Our first is the presentation of the NSSAF NS International Student Program Awards. Although the Nova Scotia International Student Program was affected by COVID-19, we were still able to host several international students who had already been in Nova Scotia. This year, we had four international students make solid contributions to not only our school, but our athletic program. The following student athletes, Irene Zong, B. Tran, Nui Thong Poe, and Jay Chang will be honored on this video. On behalf of the NSSAF, the Nova Scotia International Student Program, and our Panther Athletic Program, we would like to award our international student athletes with these NSSAF medallions. Next up is our Ron O'Flaherty uh, Scholar Athlete presentations. Each year, students across the province in grade nine and 12 have the opportunity to apply for the Ron O'Flaherty Scholar Athlete Scholarship Award. Each school is only allowed to forward one female name and one male name in both grade 9 and 12. The school level nominees will be presented with certificates and congratulatory letters from the NSSAF and the top female and top male scholar athletes at the junior high and middle school in each region will receive a commemorative plaque and congratulatory letter from the NSSAF. If chosen from our region, the senior high regional winners in each category, male and female, will receive a $750 scholarship that will be given upon confirmation of registration at a post-secondary institution. The criteria for the junior high award 
is as follows. Scholar athlete must have a minimum of 85% average in six subjects, must be a grade nine or the last year of attendance at the school, must have participated in an NSSAF championship at the district level, and have demonstrated outstanding leadership, athletic ability, and sportsmanship during their junior high, middle school athletic career. This year, our junior high female recipient is Ryan Patrickin. And this year's junior high male recipient is Alush Muhammad. The criteria for the Senior High Award are as follows. Scholar athlete must have a minimum of 85% average in six subjects, cannot be a returning graduate, has participated in an NSSAF championship event either at the district, regional, or provincial level, and demonstrated outstanding leadership, athletic ability, and sportsmanship during the senior high athletic career. This year, senior high, this year, senior high female recipient is Taylor Peterson. And this year's senior high male recipient is Ian Tilt. Next up, we have the presentation of the NSSAF Good Sport Award, and that is awarded to a junior high athlete. Each year, the NSSAF gives participating schools the opportunity to award a male and female athlete at the junior high level with what is called a Good Sport Award. This award is intended to recognize those student athletes who best demonstrate commitment to fair play, ethical behavior, and integrity, as well as showing respect and concern for others while participating in school sport. This year, the winners from PDHS will be presented with an individual plaque, and their names will also be put on a trophy plaque that will stay in the school. Both of our award winners are grade nine students who fit this to a T, and it is my pleasure to present this award to Savannah Smith and Sven Shev. Our next award is the presentation of the NSSF Exemplary Participation Award. Each year we have two, two of our grade 12 student athletes and one of our coaches along with an administrator attend a luncheon in Halifax for the NSSF's annual celebration of school sport awards. This event is an opportunity to acknowledge those student athletes and coaches who exemplify the qualities we strive to develop through participation in school sport. Such things as demonstrating commitment to fair play, showing respect for opponents and officials, supporting teammates and coaches, understanding that winning isn't everything, and being gracious in both victory and defeat. It is an opportunity to celebrate the role of sport in education and to acknowledge the significant contributions made by those involved. Due to COVID-19 restrictions on social gatherings, this event unfortunately needed to be canceled by the NSSAF. We are also very fortunate to be able to recognize these co uh, our athletes here today uh, and our coaches for their commitment to true values uh, of educational athletics and dedication to that, our PHS athletic program. Our coach recipient is one of the first to volunteer and step up to fill in a, a position in a time of need. His versatility, coupled with his love of sport and all things PBHS, make him an excellent candidate for this award. At this time, I would like to virtually present Coach Richard Wilson with his award for outstanding service. Our two grade 12 recipients will receive the NSSAF Certificate uh, Achievement for Exemplary Participation from the NSSAF. Our 2020-2021 recipients of this award are Taylor Peterson and Cameron Purdy. We have now arrived at the point in the video where we will be presenting the Athlete of the Year. These awards are never easy to choose and require plenty of input and discussion amongst coaches and selection panel members. We thank all of our student athletes for once again working as hard as they did in making these decisions a very tough one for the selection committee. Again this year, we wanted to acknowledge all of our nominees for Athlete of the Year and then announce the winner. The nominees for Junior High Female Athlete of the Year, in no particular order, are Casey Brown, Savannah Smith, Ryan Patrickin, Marissa Pauley, and Jesse Trennan. 
and the winner of the 2020-2021 Junior High Female Athlete of the Year is Ryan Patrickin. Our Junior High Female Athlete of the Year is grade nine student who really hit her stride this year. She was a key defender on the senior girls soccer team who was tasked with the difficult job of shutting down opposing teams top strikers. She continually rose to any challenge and cons consistently found ways to improve her game. Ryan also stepped up and played on our senior girls soccer team uh, where she did not, look, did not look out of place against older, more experienced players. She then transitioned to basketball uh, as a member of our junior girls basketball team where due to her leadership and performance, she was named team MVP. Congratulations to Ryan Patrickin on being named our Junior High Female Athlete of the Year for 2020-2021. The nominees for our junior high male athlete of the year, and again in no particular order, are Alush Mohammed, Wesson Pollard, Ethan Gullins, Sven Shouten, and Jimmy Day. And the winner of the 2020-2021 PDHS Junior High Male Athlete of the Year is Jimmy Day. Our junior male athlete of the year is a grade seven student who has shown tremendous athletic ability in a number of sports during his first year at our school. Starting the year off with a bang, Jimmy was continually the top player in our junior soccer development team. His commitment and desire to improve is something for others to follow. Moving into the basketball season, Jimmy's game took another step forward. Playing multiple positions and often double teamed, he was put into the guard position where he not only quarterbacked the offensive schemes, he found ways to make each player around him better. After the junior season ended, he made the jump to our senior boys team, where he did not look out of place against players sometimes six years older than him. He also became the first grade seven boy to score a basket in a senior high game. For his success in a number of sports here at BDHS, we congratulate Jimmy Day on being named the Junior Male Athlete of the Year for 2020-2021. The nominees for Senior High Female Athlete of the Year, and again in no particular order, are Olivia Wilson, Bailey Ferdinand, Taylor Peterson, Ming Sanderson, and Marina Allen. And the winner of the 2020-2021 PDHS Female Athlete of the Year is Bailey Ferdinand. Our senior female athlete of the year is a grade 12 student who has had the fortune of playing on many Panther teams during her years at PDHS, as well as competing at a very high level within those sports. Her attitude, work ethic, and ability have given her the opportunity to dominate and control important games on the volleyball and basketball courts this year. She was a dominant force on our senior girls volleyball team, having the ability to transform a game whenever she touched the ball. Her work ethic and desire to be the best player she could be was truly evident and allowed her to excel in her role as team captain and team MVP. She also had the responsibility of being the starting point guard on our senior girls basketball team, where she not only took charge of leading the offense, but consistently played with her heart on her sleeve during uh, driving through the key against much larger opponents. Her ability to make a clutch shot is one of the reasons why her coaches believe she is able to take uh, the next step in her game uh, at the university level. Due to her skill, character, work ethic, she is a pleasure to coach and, is cert has, and has certainly wrote a lasting legacy within our athletic program. I would like to congratulate our Senior Female Athlete of the Year for 2020-2021, Bailey Ferdinand. The nominees for our Senior High Male Athlete of the Year, in no particular order, are Ian Tilt, Cameron Purdy, Pacing Ferdinand, Nick Jamison, and Dylan Long. And the winner of the PDHS Athlete of the Year for 2020-21 is Ian Tilt. Ian is a throwback multi-sport athlete, excelling in soccer, basketball, track and field, golf, and softball. On the pitch, Ian is a three-year starter. This year, Ian was the co-captain and has led his team in scoring since he was in grade 10. From the moment Ian stepped foot on the basketball court as a Panther, he has always stood out as a special athlete. Ian is versatile, he has 
He has a high level of athleticism, including exceptional coordination, jumping ability, and acceleration. As for his game, he has great vision, a high IQ, he can score, he can defend, he leads, and he races his game in big moments. Ian could play basketball at the university level. He is that good. Our program will miss him next season. Congratulations to our 2020-2021 Senior High Male Athlete of the Year, Ian Tilt. At this point, I would like to congratulate all of our student athletes, coaches, parents, and volunteers for working together in creating such a positive and winning culture at our school and in our community. By making the commitment to participate in school sports at PDHS, you bring something unique to your team that changes it and makes it like no other. And we look forward to continuing that tradition with you uh, over the years to come. In closing, I would like to thank all of our student athletes uh, for representing our school and community with absolute dignity, respect, and pride. It reflects the great character in which you possess. I would also like to thank our coaches, volunteers, and parents for their countless hours volunteered and their support towards making the athletic program at PDHS such a strong and respected one. It is because of your help and support that we are able to offer our students the best possible athletic and academic experience while promoting lifelong values and morals through sport. Thank you for joining us in this celebration. Go Panthers!